I had a lot of money fears that I had to overcome uh, when I first got sober because my parents had lost all their money. So I was terrified. I was afraid of banks. I actually put my money, I swear to God, in envelopes in a bag. And then I I still went to the bank, but I put it in a safety deposit box instead of the bank account because I was too scared because it was the the bank took our house. The bank did. So I I immediately went to like... you know, banks are good to like, oh my God, a bank took away my parents' home, right? And and to see how like impersonal it was. So all those kind of things that we're raised with, like we, we look at how our parents were with money. My parents were immigrants. They believed in hard work. You worked really hard for your money. Money doesn't grow on trees. How many times did I hear that? It doesn't grow on a tree. Well, it's made out of a tree, but unless it's, right. Uh, but the point is, is, is that there was the stories that we have around money need to be healed. And I think to your point, right now, that squeeze, um, letting it go and being generous. So I will often, if I start getting squirrely around, there's not enough and the scarcity thing will actually spend money or give to charity. When I think there's not enough, I go use it. I go and we use the money. I don't, and it's, it's, it's not like, and you don't lose the money when you use the money because you've done something good for someone else or maybe you, and then all of a sudden the flow starts again. So I know by experience that money is a representation of currency and movement and you have to keep it moving. It's harder though for people who can't feed themselves. So it's like it gets, there's, there's variations. Like we're looking at, you know, a, uh, which I, I mean, I've, I've only experienced that once in my life. And I wasn't, you know, I never had the experience my parents had when like my mom was arrested in Germany for stealing a potato because she was starving. You know, this is in World War II. So my mom came from a place of, of having literally experienced nothing. And then when we lost everything, that brought back all that stuff. So I think money it's in itself is such a charged subject. But I do think that we can... We, if we have to remember that uh, to share, even if it's something tiny, you know, that, and if you don't have the money share, like that's the time when you, the feeling state is so contracted, what could you do to help another person, even if it isn't about money? Uh, then all of a sudden you start to get less contracted and that squeeze that you're talking about gets looser. And then all of a sudden you have more 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 of capacity to receive and to move it, uh, right? Because it, it's it needs flow. It needs to keep moving. Okay, if you like this podcast and you want to see more, just click over here and you'll get to see more clips from this interview. If you just want to listen, well, if you click there, you'll listen to the entire interview available to you on any one of your favorite podcast channels.